Hello, today we'll be looking at a firewall. This is a Sophos XGS2100. This is a rack mounted firewall and uh, it's meant for primarily small, medium sized businesses. It'll cover um, basically a complete protection with the right license. So let's go ahead and open the box and talk a little bit about this unit. So let's go ahead. This has already been uh, open courtesy of FedEx that uh, took forever to bring it. And so the first thing you'll notice is there is a power cord in here. There's actually nothing else that I can see. And there is a box. Actually, it's a very pretty box. So let's take a look at what's inside. And this is actually very nicely done. So we've got a guide and surprise, surprise, unlike uh, every other manufacturer, we seem to have a lot of actual documentation. Of course, it's multilingual, so uh, it's not just a single, um, so safety regulations and so forth. They give you a network cable. You also have a micro uh, USB in here. It's actually, it's a USB uh, to connect to the unit. And let's see what this is. I'm guessing it is the rack mounting brackets. Correct. So, if you watch my other videos, I usually call these ears, but anyway, they're the mountain, mountain brackets. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. That really helps us out. So, you've got various uh, mounting brackets in here. Let's go ahead and close that. You even have some rubber feet in case you want to put it on a shelf. All right, so let's put this away in pretty low box. So let's go ahead. So they are using foam. Um, and we have reviewed uh, similarly sized watch guard in the past, but uh, this is an alternative to one of those. So if we take a look at the unit, what you'll find is the business end is here on the side. Uh, you do have a modular bay here that allows you to add functionality later on. For example, if you want to add uh, PLE ports or you know things like that, that would go in there. Um, you could also add extra ports. Now, really what you're going to be concentrating on are these ports here. So what you've got are the 8 gigabit ports. And what you'll see is it says one, uh, one LAN and so forth. So you'll program these basically one comes from your ISP or two from your ISP and then one or multiple ones go back into your infrastructure. You also have the SFP ports here which allow you to have for example fiber. Now on the other end you'll have a management um, the ability to basically connect here for management. There is a small display and the rest of the unit if we look around it's really uh, all about ventilation on the sides. Since it is rack mount, uh, no sane manufacturer would put anything on the sides because that would be awkward. It's quite heavy by the way. So in the back what we've got is the power, there's a USB, there's a, an on off switch which is really you know continually on on. You have to press it to push it off and when you release it it goes right back to on. So this firewall overall can cope with 30,000 MBPS. And when you're doing things like uh, IPsec VPN, then that's 3000 uh, megabits per second. And if you're talking about having all the services on for threat protection, then that drops to 1250 megabits per second. So keep that in mind when you select a firewall or device in an application, perhaps it's a virtual uh, firewall as well an appliance, um, then the throughput basically, the lowest throughput is what you should be looking at overall. If you're going to be doing a lot of VPN and so forth, you've got to keep that in mind if you have a lot of employees. Uh, the One of the reasons that this was selected is for its ease of VPN and uh, primarily to have the ability to do two-factor authentication with VPN using something like an authenticator both from Microsoft or Google. So this is why this particular brand and model was selected. Now as part of the licensing, you can get a one year or up to a three year for licensing. What that does is it will provide you with advanced threat protection. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, basically you're gonna get features such as uh, deep packet analysis, zero day, 
protection. It's going to do things like uh, cloud sandboxing, as well as um, application control, web control, content control, you know, these types of things that you get to um, gain control and get visibility on, which is as important. From a visibility point of view, it provides a wonderful dashboard, and of course you can produce reports. So security is as important as ever, and this is why you need a very strong and powerful uh, firewall. So you wanna make sure that you don't limit the bandwidth, so all your users get adequate bandwidth, right uh, you know, full speed from your ISP, and uh, whether you pick this brand or other brands, really you have to look at the features. An appliance like Sophos, the XGS, 2100 really is your first line of defense. As we all know, there's a lot of hackers out there and these will not only handle things like antivirus and malware, ransomware and those types of things, but it does have a lot of features and a lot of information that it provides you. And of course, if should something happen, uh, then you've got an additional way of looking through logs, looking through you know some of the traffic patterns and so forth and get some idea as to what is happening in your environment. So for that reason alone, you have to get you know something like this, whether it be a Sophos or another brand. I'm Bob Palavin, CTO Bob. Thanks for watching. You can always leave comments below. We love reading those. And of course you can visit us at www.ctobob.com. Be sure to watch all of our videos. We'll see you in the next one.